as 1970 drew near, it was unclear which way the motorcycle market would go. At that time it was really defined by Britain's parallel twins, which had achieved strong snails in the US after World War II by being lighter, nimbler, and faster than fat-tired traditional American bikes. Yamaha and Suzuki had carved out substantial two-stroke market niches because their bikes were fast. Kawasaki spies had reported Honda's development of the CB754, due to hit showrooms in 1969. But would it catch on? Would it be too expensive to sell, like the fast and much admired Vincent only 15 years before? Kawasaki, Honda, and Yamaha covered their beds with respectively the very BSA like W2, the short stroke, high revving CB450 twin, and the SOC XS650, all of them air cooled four stroke parallel twins. Kawasaki's W2 was just a development of an older Meguro and was eclipsed in showrooms by their two strokes, first the disc valve 350A7 and then in 1969 by the bombshell A8 twin, a 500cc triple. Which of these many ways would the public go? No one knew. Many products of this time are now hard to explain. Why did Suzuki build their what is it? Bike. The water-cooled 752-stroke triple. A few were sold, but its qualities never define the market. And it hasn't